So let's start with a good posture, feet hip width, knees relaxed, hips in line, shoulders back and down. Imagine that string pulling you up towards the sky. Keep the chin parallel to the ground. Placing one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs. Breathing in and out through the nose. Aiming the in-breath to the lower hand. So we'll shake through the joints, starting with that left wrist, and then up to the elbow, and all the way to the shoulder, and onto the right wrist, elbow, and the shoulder, and give both arms a shake. And then standing on the right leg, we'll shake into the left ankle. And up to the knee. And to the hip. Onto the other side, shaking into that right ankle. And the knee. And the hip. And bring the feet back to hip width, bring the arms up, and then bend the knees, sweep the arms back, coming back up. So exhale down, inhale up. And keep those knees pointing forwards, make the movement as dynamic as feels good for you. And come back to standing. So balance pose, we'll do tree pose. So starting on the right leg, we'll bring that left foot either to the ankle, to the calf, or up to the inner thigh. Have that knee pushed out to the side. Bring the palms together if you can. So remember, we're working up in stages just wherever you're at. We're going to do three on each side. Then we'll come down, do the other side. So standing on the left, bring the right foot to the ankle, the calf, or all the way up to the inner thigh. Knee pointing outwards, the belly button squeezed in, finding that focus point. So bring the hands to the chest if you can. Remember if you're losing the balance, bring the arms back out. So we'll come down. So it's the same again on the other side. So if you want to go to the next stage and you normally use the calf and you want to come up to the inner thigh, then just keep hold of the ankle. If you can, we're going to bring the arms up. If you'd rather keep the hands apart, that's better for the shoulders. So just finding what works for you. So coming down, so on to the other side. So again, so try a little bit further than you normally go. If it's not working, then just come back to the easier versions. You never know how far you can get until you try. But remember, nothing should hurt. Then we'll come down and do one more each side. Just bringing that foot to wherever you can, so you can either keep hold of the foot into the inner thigh, or maybe coming into the half lotus position. Again, keep hold of the foot if you want to. But just experiment, see where you can get to. And 
gradually working into your tree pose. And breathe. And we'll come down one more. A good balance on that right left foot. And bring the right one to wherever you can. You just take your time, step by step. coming down. So standing pose we'll do warrior one. So take the right foot forward, left one behind so the heel is down and that right foot slightly angled, to, sorry the left foot slightly angled towards the right foot. So that right knee is bent, back leg straight. Try and keep the shoulders above the hips if you can. And if you want to bring in the arms up either hands together or apart. So again, just find what feels best for you. So we come down, we'll do one more on the other side. So the left foot pointing forwards. The right foot, the back foot slightly angled. Heel is down. The bend in the front knee. Try and keep the weight center. Bring the arms up and breathe. And coming down and bring the feet back to hip widths, ready for the good posture and the breathing. So taking the shoulders back and down, crown to the sky, placing one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs, breathing in and out through the nose. So just let the belly be soft. Feel the belly expand on the in-breath. Don't force the breath. Just a natural belly breath. And bring the arms down and we're all done.